So ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be reacting to WWE 2K22's gameplay trailer that they released during SummerSlam last night. Because we all know WWE 2K22 was coming, plus they announced that they're going to announce something for SummerSlam. And we got gameplay footage apparently, or at least like footage recording gameplay, I don't know. Product not yet rated. Alright, here we go, Rey Mysterio. Oh, Sheamus. Okay, Ricochet. Ooh, okay. Oh my. Bauer! Roman Miz, Ripley, Shinsuke, Nakamura. Okay. What the? Kane? What the? Okay. Goldberg, Lashley. Kofi's up. To oh, McIntyre with the sword! Oh. Oh my, March 2022. Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's dissect that. Okay, SmackDown looks great. They got the updated logo, the graphics, the ring apron, and everything looks clean. All right, we got those, and then we got Rey Mysterio. Sheamus looks great. Uh, 2010 looking Sheamus, current day looking Sheamus. You know what I'm saying? Rey Mysterio, and then Ricochet, and then they updated the turn post. I noticed that in the teaser trailer, the turn post was the 2K19 and 2K20 uh, version of the turn post because around that time in WWE, real life WWE, uh, Monday Night Raw's graphics was the Born for Greatness graphics, you know, like from 2018 to mid-2019. That's, that's how you know I know this way too much, okay? Bailey looks great here. Oh my goodness. People were complaining about Bailey's model and whatnot. She looks fantastic. And you got Carmella updated too, but look at this. I mean, Bailey's attire is outdated because she wears like the black, the uh, like her, her pants are black, top is black with the with the like the logos on it, like Ding Dong Hello or Know Your Role Model, etc. But still, it's a good good version of Bailey nonetheless. SmackDown Arena looks great. Finn Balor, yes. Hold on. We gotta look at Finn Balor real quick. The Prince. Yes, sir. Now, is he gonna be like normal Finn Balor with the arms in the air twice? Or is he gonna do the, you know? Is he gonna do those? But look at that. Look at the lighting and the, everything looks so shiny and good. I love it. It reminds me of 2K19 almost, you know? Cause like the lighting in 2K19 was immaculate. It was clean. 2K20 just looks so dark. Grim and just oh that looks great Roman looks fantastic a lot better than he did before I'm not gonna lie Miz looks good Ripley looks different yeah, she does look different I ain't gonna lie but she looks like she has life in her I'm not gonna lie to get 20 she looks like she has no soul bruh on God <laughs> Nakamura <laughs> Kane can we talk about Kane real quick what is his mask is stretched the hell out. What? What is that? Kane looks ridiculous. And then the wig, the hair. Oh, the hair looks so bad. It's like Moses performed the splitting the Red Sea. Good grief. And then Chuck Slap. Okay, I, I noticed this in the trailer. Look at Kane's tights. What does that remind you of? This That's Kane's tights of 2003. Don't know why they have that here with current Kane, but... Either way, uh, I, I don't recall Kane wearing that ev uh, at least within the last year and a half that he's been around with WWE in Kane form. Uh, you got Shelter Benjamin getting choke slammed here, and Goldberg spearing Ziggler. Ziggler looks incredible. I'm not gonna lie, bro. The models, look at that. In fact, look at Ziggler. The hair out, the bandana, because that's what, that's what Ziggler wears nowadays Goldberg obviously that's 2k 17 18 19 20 version of Goldberg the WCW version you can tell that's the WCW version because all he wore was black trunks he never really had what he has now which is black trunks with white strap lastly taking care of Kingston I noticed Kingston's hair blonde nice and also Lashley's updated attire with his tights the almighty the hurt business tights and then McIntyre, the piece of the resistance, bro. Look at this. Ah, the sword and the fire and the pyro and the uh. Look at that. Uh. 
<laughs> McIntyre. Look, he looks jacked. Look at it with the silver thing. I think he wore that Survivor Series last year. But yeah, the whole thing with the sword. Immaculate. Great. Awesome. 2K22 dropping in March. Hey, and plus they're going to have uh, updates in January. Uh, this coming January in 2022. Bro, I ain't got no problem with it being dropped in 2022 because it's giving us... It's It tells me that they're willing to take as much time as they need to have the game at 100% capacity and ready to go. Now, I'm not going to sit here and act like they're going to have all the things we want, GM mode and all that stuff. I'm not expecting that because honestly, uh, when it comes to 2K, they can deliver on graphics, but as far as making the game actually fun, that's a different story, and I need more information about that. They need to make a whole separate thing about general manager mode and whatnot or universe mode. Revamp universe mode. If you're not gonna give us GM mode, give us a revamped universe mode. A desperate need of a revamp for universe mode. That's all I got to say about that. But it is what it is, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all enjoy this little reaction of WWE 2K22. If y'all can leave a like, subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. More content coming, and I'll see y'all next time. And I'm out. Later.